This is such a treat because I feel like out of everybody on Broadway, I've like mildly been stalking you since Aladdin. Let me, let me just let me just put it out there. No, no, you know what it is? There are certain interviews that stay with you, yes. and I will never forget interviewing you for that role and how kind you were. Thank you. And I know it wasn't your first Broadway role, but I, I got to watch you at the Tonys and then, you know, Hamilton, Freestyle Love Supreme, and now Billy Flynn in Chicago. I, I've had the best career and to be here in 2022 in the longest running American musical on Broadway. If you'd have told me that in 2007 when I started in Spelling Bee, I'd have thought you were insane. And here I am, it's it's the coolest thing. And I'm here with you, I'm here at my favorite restaurant in New York. I was gonna say. Like, come on. Okay, you know. so we're here at Junior's. Yes. So now, when you say yes to a Broadway role, does it have to be within a certain proximity of Junior's? If you would ask my <laughs> wife, she would say yes. Because uh, when I did Memphis, which won the Tony in 2010, uh, that's weird, my phone's ringing. Sorry, I'm a very important person. <laughs> um, I was doing Memphis at the Schubert Theater, and just did, you know, here we are, juniors. And I was like, great, awesome. Now Aladdin took me away, which was wonderful for my wife and our paycheck. But then I got Hamilton, which is literally one street over from juniors. Then I got Free Self Supreme, which is right next door to juniors. Then I got cast in Chicago, which is a street down from Junior's on 49th. So let me tell you, if you ask my wife, yes, I must secretly put it in my contract that wherever I work, I must be at least within a five minute walk to Junior's. Yes. And she, this is a true story. In 2010, my wife came to this Junior's and told them I could only come in here twice a week because I was here every day. One day I walked in and the brother behind the counter said, uh, hi, hi, Mr. Aguilar. Um, I'm sorry, man, but your, your wife said you can't get in today. And I was like, what are you talking about? My wife said I can't get in today. She was like, she told us that you could only come in here twice a week. And like the manager comes right, she was like, hey, James, yeah, uh, Dawn came in here. I was like, I called my wife, I was like, babe, what's wrong with you? She was like, you don't need that. It's not nutritious, don't do that. And it's not that this place, this place is great, this place is nutritious, but for me to eat wings every day, like I didn't get a salad. They have great salads here, they get great soups. I would get wings and fries every day. Junior's has the best fries in the world, I know, I'm sorry. I already stole one of yours before, sorry. before we started. So, and then here's the other thing too. I mean, we could talk about the Tony Awards and mm -hmm. everything like that, or we could talk about the fact that you have tried every different flavor of cheesecake from Junior's. Like that is... Well, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, the Tony Awards are very important, but I have tried. <laughs> Every cheesecake here, the brownie cheesecake, it changed my life. Are we gonna get into that cheesecake? Sure, come on, I bro, mean, come go. on. I remember seeing you in Aladdin, and I remember you, we were talking, and you said, but I'm gonna make it my own. Yes. And you did make it your own. Thank you. I saw you in Hamilton. You made that role your own Thank as you. well. But now stepping into the role of Billy Flynn, I mean, yes. how many people have played that role on Broadway? Uh, countless. Countless. But Jerry Orbach created Billy Flynn and he put his stamp on it and that stamp has gone down through the ages. And I went and looked at YouTube clips of my boy uh, Wayne Brady, Todrick Hall, Norm Lewis, Chuck Cooper, all of my brothers that did Billy Flynn. I wanted to know how did they do it and what can I do different so that it makes it mine. What's the swagger? If I can figure out the swagger, I can put the rest of myself in it. And the fun thing is, uh, no disrespect, I've worked really hard on this. I have a pretty cool, speaking voice. You have and a great so speaking can, voice. You have a great can, speaking voice. You know, voice. usually when I'm talking to my friends, I'm way up here and I'm real high and I talk really high. But when I'm on stage, I can use this voice to my advantage and that's where Billy sits. And I was going to ask you if some of the Billy swag made its way home with you. But no, like in a, but no, in a no, different no. way, you know what I mean? Like the, when you kind of play someone like that. What, no, I am the biggest nerd in the world. I have my shows. Oh I my have gosh. Hamilton. I have Aladdin, I have Chicago, I have, that's, that's what I have. That's incredible. The swagger I bring home is me singing Muppet songs to my wife late at night. Uh, you know, us watching, you know, Bob's Burgers and uh, Maury Povich laughing. Yes, we do watch yes. Maury, it's, I'm sorry, it's trash TV, but doggone, it's funny. I am so curious about what that feeling is like when you were on that stage. It's a different feeling for each show, but I will say I have been blessed with some of the best introductions in musicals ever. With Billy, there are the most beautiful women on Broadway, singing my name and I come out of steps and a spotlight hits and there is nothing like that spotlight on you. I, it's hard to describe it's but I, I that feel I, it's the feeling I've had since the first time I picked up a microphone when I was four and heard those applause. My father also told me he was like look if you're gonna get a job what would what would you do for free and find a way to get paid to do that That's and I would, I, would, I would do this for free. Yeah. Don't tell nobody that. Don't tell anybody that. We'll, we'll, we'll just end that part out. 
shall we end with maybe a freestyle about why everyone should come see you as Billy Flynn in Chicago? Well, the answer's in. It's the new Billy Flynn, and I'm here to tell you I used to be fat, but now kind of thin, but coming through with the new show that they call Chicago, not really new. This thing has been here long time ago, 25 years, longest reigning show on Broadway, and this is the only way you can see it. So hey, so get your tickets today so you can see me do what I do, because all I want is love, and I just want it for you. But I will give you, and I'll show you a little razzle-dazzle as I get on that stage and do, I'm not frazzled, I come through with the Roxy, come through with that Velma, I come through when I kick it and I do it and I tell you just let you know how it's really going to end you don't know I have to wonder who's gonna win it's Billy Flynn my favorite human being thank you so much <laughs> you are an absolute joy